Today's video is a makeup tutorial featuring this look from the Mary Kay Holiday 2022 catalog. Well, hey friends, it's Dawn. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is the first time that you are watching my channel, Welcome, my name is Dawn. I am an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay Cosmetics. I am also certified in color analysis and as an image consultant. So on this channel, you're gonna find lots of different content all related to beauty, fashion, and makeup, and skincare, and things like that. And today I have a makeup tutorial for you. In November, the Mary Kay Holiday 2022 catalog came out, and in it there were two looks. So last week I did this look, and this week I am doing this look for you. These Both of these looks are perfect for the holidays. So if you have any kind of holiday gathering coming up, these are great for inspiration. And I love today's look. I did make one change, so you'll uh, see that when I do the tutorial. But I love how this look came out. I love a red lip at the holidays. And I put on some festive clothes here. So this might be something I would wear to a holiday party. And as always, if you enjoy today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. And if you're ready, let's get started. This look is called Holiday Bombshell. I'm going to begin the look by applying Mary Kay Chroma Fusion Eyeshadow and Biscotti all over my eyelids. I'm just using the all over eye color brush and just tapping that shadow onto the lids. Biscotti is a matte shade and it's just gonna create a nice base for the rest of our eye look. Next up, I'm going to apply Cinnabar onto the outer corners of the eyelids, into the creases, and then you'll see me in a little bit, I'm gonna apply it also to the lower lash line. Now, Cinnabar is also a matte shade, and it's a really warm brown tone. So I um, always felt like it has a little bit of kind of a reddish undertone to it, so it's definitely warm. Um, you could always substitute out a different shade of brown if you want something like cool or more neutral. Um, Cinnabar has been one of my favorites for a really long time. Um, I When I used to dye my hair red, I actually used to use Cinnabar to fill in my brows. So if you have red hair um, and you're looking for a really good shade for your brows, maybe check out Cinnabar. That was always a go-to for me. But again, in this look, I'm just using it as an eyeshadow and just right in that crease and right kind of a little bit on the outer corner. And as I said, it's gonna go along the lower lash lines as well. The last few makeup tutorials I've done, I have, as I've edited them, I have created um, a video where I sped up this part of the video. So as I'm applying the makeup, I made it go two times faster just to kind of make the video not as long. Um, but I would love to know what you think. Do you like this video as just at normal speed? So this is the actual application that I'm doing. So let me know below if you like the video like this where it's in real time or if you prefer a video that I kind of speed up sort of some of the the things that I do every makeup video. You know, every makeup video, I'm gonna blend it in my crease or I'm gonna apply it below the lash line. So let me know what you think and if you like the regular speed or you like it sped up. After applying to the lower lash lines, I felt like it was a little harsh, so I'm just blending it out a little bit with the all over eye color brush. Next up, I'm going to add the Mary Kay Gel Eyeliner in Jet Black along my upper lash lines. Now, if you look up this look on my website, um, it shows a cat eye. It shows the instructions for doing a cat eye and um, the picture in the catalog also shows a cat eye. So one thing that I've really struggled with since my eyes have gotten more hooded as I've aged, um, I really struggle with the cat eye because um, just that hood is, is comes down and, um, 
it, it's really tricky to get a good cat eye. So I've actually watched a lot of other makeup tutorials on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram. And guys, I'm still struggling. So um, I have done makeup for, you know, 26, 27 years through Mary Kay. I've also obviously done my own makeup since I was a teenager. And I've never had problems with, you know, techniques. And this cat eye with my now very, very hooded eyes, they have really gotten a lot more hooded in the last year, I feel like. Um, I'm struggling. So I am skipping the cat eye and it is my mission over the next year to really practice the cat eye technique and try to see about doing cat eye on a hooded eye. And I will bring that to you once I master it. So one thing I've also noticed with my hooded eyes is when I do a gel or a liquid eyeliner, um, the hood sometimes hangs over and it will transfer that gel or liquid up onto the upper part of my lid. So what I'm doing here is I am setting the gel eyeliner with a black matte eyeshadow. So this is a really, really good trick. If you have hooded eyes like I do, um, or just for whatever reason, when you use a gel or a liquid aligner and it tends to get on your upper lid, use a matte black eyeshadow to set it and I promise it will not transfer. Um, it is like just such a great tip. So if you take one thing away from this video, um, it is that. But um, I'm just using the little brush that comes with the um, gel eyeliner, it comes with a little retractable brush and that's how I'm applying it. You can always use um, just a small angled brush, but again, you see here, I'm just taking that matte black eyeshadow and I'm just going right over top of it. So um, I just, I love this. You can actually just even use the eyeshadow by itself as a liner. So you don't necessarily have to use the gel eyeliner. So if you have a matte black eyeshadow, and you don't have a gel eyeliner, then you just use the eyeshadow. Um, next up, I am decided, this is not part of the look, um, but I decided my brows were not dark enough. So I'd already filled them in with pencil, but I am just adding some of the um, tinted brow gel. So I, um, you know, just added that little step in uh, mid mid makeup routine. So, um, and I didn't edit it out because um, you can see the difference there. So I didn't want it to look weird and just edit that out. And then you'd be wondering like, what did she do differently that we didn't see off camera? So um, anyway, I'm just adding that um, tinted brow gel. And you guys, I love this. It's volumizing brow tint is what it's called actually. So if you're looking it up, volumizing brow tint. And I am using the shade Dark Brunette. So this stuff is just amazing. You can use it by itself. You can layer it over top of the um, brow pencil. And uh, you see here, it's just adding a, that tin. It's, it's making them a little bit darker and it actually volumizes. So it catches onto the hairs um, that are on your brow and it's gonna give them a little bit more volume. And then after I did them, uh, I was like, okay, well now this one, uh, you know, the other one's darker than this one. So now I have to add some more. Um, so do you guys do that when you do your makeup? It's just like you do one and then you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, it's not even. And then you go back and you have to do the other one again. So anyway, um, yep, yeah, just takes a while to do my brows sometimes. That's why a lot of times I'll do them off camera because you know, it takes me a while to kind of get it perfected. I'm actually just using a clean spoolie right here. This is actually a um, throwaway mascara wand. And this is a great uh, tool to use for your brows. So it'll brush them up really good for you, just like that. All right, next up, let's do some mascara. So for this look, it calls for the Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara in black. And a lot of times, you guys, I cut out putting on my mascara because I look so crazy when I put my mascara on. Look what I'm doing right here. So here's what I do. I put the wand super close to my lashes. Okay, so right at the very, very base of my lash. And then I twist the wand as I pull it through the lashes. And it kind of helps me to sort of blink 
really slow. And so, like I said, whenever I'm watching myself with my tutorials, I'm like, I look so crazy. So a lot of times I cut out the mascara um, because I'm like, you know, they don't want to see me looking all crazy when I'm doing my mascara. So anyway, I decided to leave it in this time so you guys could see. Um, but, you know, definitely find your own technique that works for you. But like I said, just put, if you want to do this technique, put that wand as close to the base of your lashes as you can. Twist it as you pull it through. And, um, you know, bring it all the way to the end of the lashes. And the, um, the, ultimate mascara that I'm using here is a really volumizing mascara. So it's not necessarily going to give you as much length as some of the other mascaras that we have, but it definitely will give you uh, the volume. All right. So next up, I am going to do the cheek color. And this is Mary Kay Chroma Fusion Blush in Rosy Nude. If you watch any of my other videos, you know this is my absolute favorite cheek color. It is my go-to almost every single day and I love it. All right. After that, I'm just going to keep blending. I just, um, you know, don't want any harsh edges. Um, uh, but after applying the cheek color, I am going to do my lips. So we're going to start out with lip liner in berry. So just lining, you know, natural along my lip line or along my natural lip line. And then the thing that I love about this look is it is gonna layer two different lipsticks. So I did make a slight change. So the first lipstick I'm using here is the Mary Kay Gel Semi Matte Lipstick in Berry Famous. Now after that, the look calls for adding Gel Semi Matte Lipstick in Midnight Red. I don't have Midnight Red. I love Scarlet Red, which is actually a semi shine. So that's what I did instead is the Scarlet Red. And here is the finished look. All right, friends. Well, that is it for the tutorial. I would love to know what you think of this look and if it's something that you would wear. Um, also, I thought it would be really fun. I don't know if uh, you noticed during the video, there was probably a couple times you might have seen me like swaying back and forth a little bit. I was listening to Christmas music the whole time I was filming myself recording. And I would love to know what your favorite Christmas song is, if you have one. I know I have like so much, I don't even know that I could pick a favorite because I just love Christmas music. Growing up as a kid, Christmas was huge in our house and we always listened to Christmas music just constantly, really the whole month of December. So there are so many that I love. But again, I was listening to it on the TV. I just had like Amazon music playing with Christmas favorites and I was bebopping along while I was putting my makeup on. So if you have a favorite holiday song, I would love to know below. And um, I hope that you do have a happy holiday with your family celebrating, whether you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or something else. Thank you so much for watching my video today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, friends.